and yes, welcome back to another video, guys. Now, that's right, today we're back with another movie review. And The Wizarding World has its next film out. Fantastic Beast: The Secrets of Dumbledore is here. Now, as you guys know, I did not like The Crimes of Grindelwald. I done a bad movie review on it. And I rewatched it the other night and I can tell you now I still don't like that movie. But I do like the first Fantastic Beast film and I like the Harry Potter series overall. It's a very fun series of movies. So here we are, we're back in the Wizarding World. I was ready for to escape again into this magical world and try and forget about the last film. I had a feeling that this would be an improvement. I was hoping that it would get at least to the level of the first Fantastic Beast. I'm not expecting the level of Harry Potter. And after this film... While it was an improvement, doesn't the Harry Potter franchise already, or the Wizarding World franchise already feel tired? Like, it just feels out of breath. It just can't catch up with itself, it feels like. Like, every other franchise is still steamrolling ahead. Um, the MCU, of course, is still going. Um, Star Wars, we've got all these shows on Disney Plus now. DC, you know, we've got a lot of upcoming stuff. A lot of the Batman's taken off. I just feel like there's no energy in this world at the minute. Like, Harry Potter's done. Fantastic Beasts. It's just not... It's not catching up with it. It's not... It hasn't got this energy to it that other franchises have. It's... It's just very lacklustre, I think, in... Just... Just enthusiasm. And it's... It's a shame. It really is. But anyway, let's crack on with the review. So, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore sees new and a new group of allies some old faces some uh, new faces joining his team trying to take down Grindelwald as he tries to rise up and become the leader of the magical world so we haven't just got like the minister of magic for each country now now we've got a leader overall which felt a, of the whole magical world which felt a little bit maybe too grand for me i like that harry potter it remind it reminds me a lot of the star wars prequels how there is a realistic law to it um but having one ultimate leader seems like eh, seems a bit f in the other direction for me. But anyway, it is what it is. So the plot itself sees Grindelwald capturing a mag magical beast, and he's he's using it because this beast only sees pure-hearted people. He's using it to try and show that he's a good person and that he deserves to be the leader of this magical world. After the crimes he committed or supposedly committed, and he's the most feared wizard ever at this point in time. I'm not sure how on earth <laughs> anyone would consider him like, uh, like, oh yeah, he could, he could, he could be a candidate. He could potentially lead. So for a start, I thought the plot itself was a bit far-fetched. The film itself was a lot more interesting than the last film, I'll say. It doesn't instantly undo everything from the last film, like The Crimes of Grindelwald did for... Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. You know, it literally just undone everything. This one actually does pick up where characters left off and it continues their story. So in that aspect, it's a lot better. It feels like a genuine sequel to the last film, even though the last film was kind of trash. Um, and where it goes with the story is interesting, while it is far-fetched and a bit outrageous at times. And that's saying a lot for a, a film set in this Harry Potter magical universe. But... It runs with it, and it's okay. It's okay. I think my my issue with this movie is um, the pacing. The pacing is diabolical at times. This film, I don't know if it's Warner Brothers. I don't know if it's J.K. Rowling. I don't know if it's the other, if it's David Yates. Um, but someone needs to trim these films down, because this and the last film suffer from the same thing. They are so stretched out. The last film could have been trimmed down like an hour and a half. The last film sucked. This film could easily be trimmed down half an hour. There is some very slow stuff in this. And it isn't slow for tension building. It's slow because they don't know what they're doing. There's 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 just long pauses. And it really bogs the film down. Especially in the middle act of the movie. While I think the film opens well and the last act was pretty fun. The middle of the movie really, really drags. The characters in this movie, so Eddie Redmayne is Newt Scamander. I really like him in this role, but unfortunately his character is getting more and more sidelined as each film goes on, which is a real shame. Jude Law as uh, Dumbledore. I, I really thought that in the last film he was wasted. Um, you know, he, he was a great casting decision, I thought, but in the last movie he just didn't bring much to the table. Here, he brings a lot more to the table, and I really like the guy who they cast as his brother. Um, or... or Aberforth? Aberforth? I've got notes here. His name should be somewhere in front of me. I'm pretty sure it's Aberforth, Dumbledore. 
Um, but anyway, I'm I'm pretty sure it's there. I'm gonna go with that anyway. Ah, uh, who else we got in this? Ezra Miller's in this. You know, he's pretty. He's he's she's doing his best. You know, I'm not a I'm not a fan on the man at all. And I really like the guy, the 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 muggle Jacob, because um, a few of my mates when I went to see it, we've actually didn't like his aspects in the movie. They, they sort of, and I get it. He's a muggle. You got to see magic, and he pulls you away from the magic. So I do get that. But he is for me the most likable character in it, and so it's it's a bit of a mixed bag. Yeah, I I would rather not deal with muggle stuff, but he's also the best character. So it, it's a it's a weird one. It's a weird one. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here. Um, Mads Pickleson has, of course, replaced Johnny Depp as Grinnell. Now, I'm not going to get into the Johnny Depp case because, you know, that's um, that's some something else. Um, how do I feel? I think Mads Mikkelsen gave a much better performance. I thought he was he was fantastic as Grindelwald. The issues I have with Grindelwald in this movie is nothing to do with Mads Nicholson. It's to do. I don't know if it's. I'm guessing it's to do with the makeup and the, the team and stuff because he he just looks like Mads Nicholson in a suit. The thing that I loved about Johnny Depp's portrayal was how he looked. His hair, his pale white face, the funny eyes, and the awesome cape, cloak, coat thing he wore. And Madsen Nicholson is giving just as good, if not be a better performance than Johnny Depp in this. It's just he doesn't look it, and he doesn't feel as menacing w with his dialogue, because I think he just looks like a normal guy. He just looks like Mads Nicholson. So I thought that was a real shame there. Also, it's really weird that the... The, the um, character Tina was barely in this one. Like She was like a main character in the last two and she's barely in this. And she was one of my favourite parts of the last two films. So I'm hoping in the next one I give her something to do. Yeah, overall, this film, it wasn't bad. But it, it, it just, it's just painfully average, really. It, it, as I say, it, I don't think it's one I'm going to rewatch much. It, it moves at a snail's pace. It, it was a real bore at times. But there were some exciting moments to it. And, you know, it just didn't really do much to re-energise the whole Harry Potter world. And it done that thing again where it was like, they were gonna, it looked like they were going to kill a character off. I'm not going to say who, I'm not going to say when or nothing. But it looked like they were going to kill a character off at one point. It was like, oh my god, they, they're going to kill this person. And I was like, oh, I'm, yes, the film's got some balls. And it done a proper Last Jedi, you know, where it looks like Finn's, Finn's going to die. And Rose sideswipes him. It does, it does a proper one of those where it's like, oh, didn't have the balls to kill this person then. Yeah, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. It's it's an improvement over the last one, but, you know, it, it still isn't really doing much. I'm hoping that the Harry Potter game is the one that re-energises this universe. I'll give this film a 6 out of 10. So anyway, there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I will see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.